Hey guys, it's Drew Kush Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we're going to be talking about two different ways uh, bullion dealers kind of work with their customers to not only mitigate risk when selling bullion, but to meet demands. We hope you guys enjoy this video. There's different ways to make money in this business, either with bullion or with coins. And we are in a bullion heavy, heavy market. And the reason being is just because of everything that's in the news and people that want to prepare. And so we wanted to talk about, like we said, two different ways that, uh, you know, bullion dealers work with their customers and uh, end up acquiring silver and selling silver. And so there's two different ways, which the first one is if you own a shop. So a lot of uh, the shops that we know around us, uh, they pay not a whole lot over spot and they end up selling it for a decent premium over spot. And so the way that they ended up acquiring a lot of inventory is having that physical presence, that brick and mortar, and then they're able to buy it for an affordable price and add a decent amount of premium on top of it. And for this, this first one, it's not really applicable to you or me because we don't have a brick and mortar and we don't wanna allocate the funds to a brick and mortar like they do. And so the question is, how do I start selling bullion when I don't have a brick and mortar and I don't have a bunch of money invested into a physical presence um, and so the way that we're doing uh, the deal this week with bullion is that we're basically backing into a deal. And what does backing into a deal mean, really? And for bullion dealers all around the U.S., what they really do is they are glorified middlemen for their customers, which means they have a guy that has bullion for a good price, and they're going to move it to their customer for a certain price. And so the first thing that we need to talk about is locking in numbers. A phrase that most coin dealers and bullion dealers use in business is a lock-in price. And what does a lock-in price mean? And how can you use this with buying bullion and selling bullion to your customers? So when we're talking about the 600 ounces, we end up having a lock-in price that we, we buy these for from the dealer. And then we organize a lock-in price with our customers. So say you go into a shop tomorrow and they're selling bullion rounds for $30 an ounce, and you say, hey, my customer is looking for 300 ounces. You would tell them, hey, can we lock in 300 ounces at $30? And if that is okay with your customer and you end up making money at that price, you just go to your customer after that, and if their budget's $32 an ounce or $31 an ounce, you could say, hey, customer, let's lock in a price of these ounces at $31 an ounce. Does that work for you? And so once you get both sides of the deals organized, all you have to do is then make a drop off um, with the customer or meet at a place where you guys feel comfortable. So here are a few rounds that we would like to talk to you guys about today. These are pertaining to the deal that we're working out this week. So as you can see, this is a, a Buffalo round, this is a Morgan round, and this is a 2022 Maple. All really beautifully you know, struck and designed. These are kind of partaking to the U.S. type of coins. And the maple, the U.S. Canadian Mint has been making them, I think, since the late 80s. And it's really been kind of a staple for one ounce silver and one ounce gold. Here are a few rolls that they normally come in. As you can see to the right, there's uh, 20 um, that come in the Morgan and the Buffalo roll. And the maples come in 25. So it's definitely pretty interesting when you're wanting to create a quantity for your customers, you have to sell them either by the 25 or the 20. But let's talk about the deal that we're gonna be working on and how it was structured. So here's a little behind the scenes of a deal that we're working out, like we said, with a few customers, something that we wanna kind of clue you guys in on and kind of give you the backstory of how we came into the silver and then what we plan to do with it. And so in case you can pan down right here, this is 600 ounces of silver. This is um, a lot of silver, a lot of money, but the thing about you have to understand about this market is that there's a lot of customers out there that rely on you and there's a big need for bullion dealers and coin dealers out there. And so we end up buying these from a certain people that supply them and they run into them for a certain price and then we end up buying them from them. And uh, a lot of our customers, they're very busy people if they're buying 300 ounces of silver, they're wanting to, you know, they're wanting to make it quick, easy, simple. The money to them is not as important as the security of the silver. And so we ended up buying these 300 ounces over time locally. 
and we ended up having to drive a little ways to buy these maples. And so you are end up you are when you're talking about a middleman, you're actually doing a service for both sides, um, you know, both sides of the deal. So if you're talking to the dealer, they're wanting to move silver, they want to make money, they want to pay their bills. And once again, there's so many people that want silver, but they want to sometimes remain either anonymous or like I said, they're very busy. And so uh, that creates a huge demand for people that have availability of time like us to meet with people and to talk with them and sit down with them. And so let's spend a few moments talking about, um, you know, measuring these, making sure they're real and uh, just something that we would do once we sit down with some customers and start slinging bullion. So many people ask us and ask different dealers, if I'm getting into bullion and starting to work locally with a lot of people, what should I invest in to make sure that I feel safe walking into a bullion deal with a dealer and my customers feel safe walking into a bullion deal with me? And so we ended up purchasing recently this Sigma machine here and it's been a real big help for us just because it'll give us some peace of mind whenever bullion comes in um, through collections or like we said, when we're buying a big quantity from some dealers. And so something for you guys to think about, you know, when you're bringing this into a deal, uh, we ended up working with a few people recently and they wanted us to check every single ounce of silver on this. And basically what that means is, uh, if you wanna pan down real quick, Casey. So this is the Buffalo round. We would basically pull out every single Buffalo round and we would test them in front of them. This is something that you should probably do for the first time, maybe the first few times when you're doing bullion deals with them, uh, with a customer, just so they have a peace of mind and they can get to know you as a person. But as you can see, it's, uh, it's ready for 0.999, so three nines there. And when you place it on the scale, it should read anywhere between uh, these two brackets. And if it does, that means it's legit. And so, like I said, it might take a little bit of extra time and tender love and care, but if you can you know, sell someone 100 ounces of silver, sit down with them for about 20 minutes, check every ounce, it'll really give them a positive, you know, positive feedback that they can give other people when they're uh, talking about you and talking about you know, maybe buying more silver in the future. And so uh, what you can do past that, you know, maybe when, once you guys get some, uh, you know, get some rapport, you can maybe just say, hey, you know, I, I'm bringing you a few 100 ounces of silver here Let's just pick a random, a uh, few random rolls here. Let's check the, the middle of the rolls, the end of the rolls, whatever you wanna pick. And we'll just run them on here and see what happens. And most of the time that's pretty good too, just because uh, if someone's coming into your shop or if they're coming to you every single week buying a few hundred ounces of silver, uh, it's definitely gonna save you a lot of time in the long run since you have that relationship established. But definitely a good piece of equipment here. And I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. If you guys want to watch more videos from us, make sure you leave a like, comment your thoughts on this video. Is there something that I should add that maybe people should read up on? I'd love to hear that. And uh, subscribe because we're, we're about 5,000 subscribers now. So big milestone. We'll see you guys in the next video.